All stable diffusion with Zlita installation out there needs to take 30 minutes or more for image generation for the first time, and my tutorial is the only one in YouTube that will run instantly. Nice. First, you need to install two programs, Python and Git. Just follow the link provided and choose the right installer for your computer. Make sure to pick the 64-bit version. When installing, there will be some options to select. Make sure to tick the box that says Add to Path for Python and then proceed with the installation. Next, download Zluda and extract it somewhere on your computer. I put mine in a folder called Path on my D drive. Then, download HIP SDK from the link provided in the video. Remember to agree to their terms before downloading. When you're installing the HIP SDK, make sure to choose the option for a full installation each time. Now, we need to update some settings on your computer. Type environment variable in the search bar on your computer's taskbar. Then, click on Edit the System Environment Variables. A window will pop up. Click on Environment Variables again. Look for Path under System Variables and double-click it. Then, click New and add the paths for where you put Zluda and the HIP SDK. If your computer's GPU falls into this category, you'll need to do an extra step. Download a file called Rockam Library from the link provided in the video. Type in a code in your computer's file explorer to find a folder, and then rename library folder to library original. After that, move library folder from the Rockam Library zip file you downloaded into the same place. Create a new folder where you want to set up your stable diffusion. Type CMD in the address bar and press enter. Then, paste git clone code from the video description. Once it's done, paste git checkout code to make sure you're installing the right version. Next, copy your stable diffusion model checkpoint into this specific folder. If you don't do this, Stable Diffusion will just download a default model for you. Finally, click on a file called Web UI User Bat. You don't need to change anything in there. And that's it. You've got your Stable Diffusion running with Sluda. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel.